Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. A man has been arrested for killing his own wife. And this happened in Plymouth, that's Zurain County. The man who goes by the name Daniel Barrett lived with his wife named Mary on the 100 block of Gaylord Avenue. Mary Barrett reportedly has a 14 years old child with a man named Robert Atkin. And the night of Mary Barrett's homicide, Daniel Barrett, who is the husband who she lived with, had called her son's father, that's um, Robert, and told him that Mary cheated on him and to report that she has been killed. This was what he actually did on the day he had killed his own wife. He had to first of all call his wife's son's father that his wife has been killed and saying that she cheated on him but when the police arrived at the home on Gaylord Avenue they said that they found a blood trail through the house and then into the basement unfortunately Mary Suzanne Barrett was allegedly found lying on the ground covered in blood to make it worse with a hole in her skull. This is really gruesome. Then one of the neighbors now had to make comment and say that um, her boyfriend told her what had happened and then that both of them were like in dismay that something like this close to home had never happened before and that she saw Mary as a very nice woman she never thought of her as someone who was going out and approaching men behind her back. She was now trying to say this good thing about the wife, owing that they are neighbors and she knew this woman for quite some time and she never perceived her or saw her as a cheating wife or a woman who went after other men. However, Barrett confessed to the police because he now handed himself over to the police. He reported himself to the police saying that he and Mary got in an argument on January 9th regarding her spending time with other male. That is what the husband is actually claiming at the moment. And he also told the police that's when he punched her in the face and he allegedly blacked out during the events that transpired. Barrett even told the police that the next thing he remembered, he was standing over Mary Barrett with fire tongues over his head. Barrett then explained that he struck her with a fire poker multiple times before it became entangled with her body. Oh, what a gruesome way to kill somebody. And he said that was when he allegedly grabbed a knife again and stabbed her in the lower back. You can imagine the kind of pain this woman must have gone through. After he had used the fire tongs over her several times, he didn't stop there. He took a knife again, grabbed this knife and stabbed her in the lower back. This is really gruesome. He even explained that when he went to splash water on his face, he heard a noise come from Mary. He then allegedly dragged her down the stairs and into the basement and left her there. She was still alive and breathing, even after he had done, carried out all this gruesome act on her. That was the time he would have even tried to save her life or even help her. What he did now was to drag her again down to the basement and leave her for dead. So no help will come to her. No one will hear her. So let her just stay there and die. 
he said then he did not go back into the basement until Sunday, January 10th, to cover Mary with a sheet. You can imagine what a human being would do to his fellow human being. He had every opportunity to actually save her life. Then he could say that it was a mistake. He made a mistake or he was carried away with anger and decided to do this act on her or carry out such acts on her. At that point, he would have had a U-turn or change of mind to even save her life. But he was so hardened that he still left her to dead when he had an opportunity. He also told the police that from um, Saturday up that um, 9th of Sat um, 9th Saturday, January, up until 11th of January, when he showed up at the police department, he went through the possibilities of committing suicide but turned himself in instead. Right now, he's been charged with homicide of his late wife. You can see from the um, pictures that um, where they had lived, the couple had lived together, and that's where he had committed this horrible crime. And you can see his wife, a young pretty woman. And look at the man, he's even a young man. Why would you do that if you suspect your wife of cheating on you? Why don't you find out from her, talk to her, hear her own side of the story first? Or have a proper investigation. Then when you come out with strong evidence against her, then you either call her family members or report her to appropriate sources. Rather than taking the laws into your hand, it's even better you go to the police and make a report of your wife cheating on you and the possibilities of you having to do anything bad to her. Then they intervene into the matter. Either you decide on what to do next with her, including with the police getting involved, which would be a very better way to have handled this because obviously the police will not encourage him to kill her. They will all sort for a way out to resolve this particular issue. And who knows, maybe he was wrong about his wife. Because the neighbor said she never saw this woman as someone who would even turn her back to now start going after men? She saw her as a responsible mother and wife. Probably the husband may be wrong. It may be mere speculations or feelings or his suspicion and he never had any evidence to prove that she was actually cheating on him. His anger had led him to doing something terrible. And it's so painful that he even had an opportunity to save her life, but he left her for dead. He made up his mind that he actually wanted her to die. Otherwise, he would have helped her. But why would you be so hardened to carry out such gruesome acts on a woman you call your wife you live with? It's so heartbreaking to hear and see things like this. Look at the young boy who she has, the 14 years old child, is now left without a mother. All because the stepfather used his own hands to kill the mother. But when some people who are involved into an act like this, when you're carrying out this act, how do you feel? You watch someone in pain, crying and pleading for, for help or pleading that you spare their life. You continue infringing the pains until you watch them take their last breath. You would ask, what led to this kind of an act? Going to this extent of killing somebody. Please, it should never be an option to anyone attempting or planning to kill someone because of the wrong the person has done to you no matter what it is please killing should never be an option it's better you even hand the person over to authorities and let them go from there than you taking the laws into your own hands okay now he knew what he did he was even almost attempting suicide on his own self before he decided to 
go and report himself to the police. He took himself to go report. It's such a pain right now because this little boy, the son, is now in pains of the loss of his own mother. And he's going to live with that pain for the rest of his life. And people should please think before they act. Take a step back and pause for a while and ask yourself questions. If I do this, what will be the consequences? What are the positive effects and the negative effects? Who will get affected with what I'm about doing? Once you're able to sit down, take your time and ask yourself all of these questions, you're going to see that you will be difficult, it will be difficult for you or you will be reluctant in taking drastic decisions. Don't be in a hurry to take decisions in anger. Once you take decisions in anger, definitely you take the wrong decisions. You take decisions that would affect you negatively or affect the next person close to you. Report incidents of any act of domestic violence that you perceive. Please make a report on time. Who knows, maybe this man has been carrying out some traits of domestic violence on his wife. It may not be the first time he's laying his hands on her. Because a man will not just wake up one day and start beating his wife to death. It must have started from somewhere. Because something must have led to something. It's either he's been abusive because there are different ways of domestic violence. Some people could be abusive verbally. Some go into physical way of being abusive. So once you've perceived either of these, don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until it has gone very far. Please open up your mouth and speak up. If you are with someone who has tendencies of being a domestic violent husband, please call and report immediately you have perceived it. Don't wait until he starts raising his hands on you. At that time, it would be too late to speak up. Some would not even spare your life. Like this man now. Daniel knew he had every opportunity to spare Mary's life. But he decided to leave her to death. Let her stay there and die. And the worst part is that he left her corpse in the basement. For two days. That is so gruesome. Please, in cases of domestic violence, don't wait until the person picks up a gun or a knife to stab you. At that time, you can't say anything anymore because this person will do it till you take your last breath. Once you have sensed it, you're human, you've lived with somebody or you're living with someone, once the person starts changing, obviously you would know. You can't be with someone who you've lived with for even a month and the person starts changing and you wouldn't notice, it's not possible. Any slightest change you see in this person going towards being domestic or carrying out domestic violence on you, please call somebody, make a report, say something so you can get the help or you'll be taken away from there the earlier the better before your life is cut short within a twinkle of an eye. It has to do with both men and women. Some men are also going through domestic violence in their marriages. Please call help. Don't wait until it is too late. It's rare in most cases for you to find a man going through domestic violence. It happens, but in rare cases, more on the women's part. Women suffer domestic violence a lot in their marriages. And so it's in your relationship. Please, if it's even better and easier in a relationship that you run away very fast. You can easily run away from a relationship that has not been tied together in the bonds of marriage. It may be difficult in marriage, especially when kids are involved. You find it hard to pull away. But at the same time, speak up and make your complaints. If you are in a relationship with a guy who has started beating you, 
please don't wait to say you want to change him please don't wait until he picks up a knife or a gun before you decide to speak up please as soon as he has started speak up if that person is not willing to change or if you see that nothing is being done about your report especially in a relationship take your heels and run away run as fast as you can some people even get killed in a relationship of domestic violence not even getting to marriage they lose their lives just in a relationship because they were not willing to speak up some people are so scared i understand but please any slightest opportunity you get even if it means you writing a note slipping it under someone's door or writing a note hand it over to someone next to you secretly so that your partner will not find out and harm you do that there are different ways of speaking up even if you're scared if you can't call then slip a note into someone's hand into an officer's hand into your neighbor's door or your neighbor's hand or do something that someone should see and know that you are going through something then you will get the help you need but if you decide to stay there deliberately hoping that this person will change unfortunately they may never change that will keep up with them please don't let your anger control you to beat up your wife to death or to even harm your own husband as a result of domestic violence on your husband or on your wife report help is just a call away don't wait until it's too late to speak up speak up on time so you can save your life and if you have kids involved remember your kids need you alive they need you to take care of them so please report make hear why the sun shines please friends if you have anything to say please put that down at the comment section also but what do you think about this daniel's action was he justified and secondly having to kill your wife because she's cheating on you is that the answer to an issue like this whatever you think please your comments is important also i want to use this time to say for those who want to start up a new youtube channel there is a teacher that is available to put you through all the way every step of the way he will be there to lead you on his name is matt pa he has made lots of successes on youtube you can see he has received a gold plate silver plate see all the awards he has received from youtube and you can see his monthly revenue this is a huge one as well matt pa will give you every information you need to start up a new YouTube channel. He's going to leave you with information at your fingertips. I'm going to drop a link down below. So you please click on that link so you can have access to Matt Pa himself directly and to his class. He's been very successful and he also wants to lead you on the right path for you to also be successful and start up a new YouTube channel from the scratch. So friends, do click on the link below for those of you who want to start up your own new YouTube channel. You can see Matt Pa and see the successes he has made on YouTube. Thank you once again for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.